Hey everybody, Brendan here from the EV and Hybrid Network. Today I want to show you a little bit about the regenerative braking settings using this Kia Hybrid. So using the paddle shifters here, a few of the different settings that you can go through. Okay, so with this Kia Nero Hybrid that we've got here, 2022 model, this one, um, the regenerative braking function. So we can use these paddle shifters here that traditionally you might think would be for changing gears in an ice engine vehicle, but they are for regen braking. So you'll notice at the moment we are in park. With the P up here. Um, to get into these functions, I need to put it into drive. So I've selected drive. Now that enables us to be able to utilize these and you'll notice now when I press down we get this little level one pop up here. If I press up it'll actually go away again. So let's zoom in down there. So when I press down we engage. So technically it's trying to tell you that while it was off there was no regenerative braking. Now I've played around with it. it does still have some even when you've got it turned off like this um, there, there is no free coasting that does occur um, whereas level one we start to get into what you would start to call one pedal driving you, you wouldn't be able to do one pedal driving at all with level one uh, you'll feel when you put it to this when you lift off the accelerator pedal without hitting the brake pedal you have a small amount of retardation uh, more than what you would call coasting now we can hit the down hit the down and we can move up to level three. This gets pretty close to what you could use as one pedal driving. So lifting off the accelerator and without touching the brake, it will retard the car quite uh, quickly. Worth noting that while driving, while I'm decelerating, if I hold that down button, you'll notice that you can engage max briefly. And now I've come to a stop. So even though you're on level three, which they have as their highest level, um, you can go into a even further level where you can put it into max. And the final one to know about, so if I hold the right paddle, which is the up, you hold that for a few seconds, you'll notice it goes into auto. So that is going to automatically adjust based on what's going on with the traffic in front of you. So if the there is no car in front of you, then it's going to be down on a lower level and it's going to almost coast. Whereas if it sees there is a car pulling up in front of you, then it's going to uh, apply quite a high level of regenerative braking as you're coming towards a stop off the accelerator pedal. So there you go, just a couple of tips about this Kia hybrid adjustable regenerative braking paddle system. Most manufacturers now are getting into some form of one pedal driving, particularly in EVs. Um, so take a look through your settings. There may be things there that you didn't know, ways that you can change the way that the car responds. Everyone's different. Everyone has different preferences, different driving styles and situations. So take a look at what your car has available. If you do need any servicing, diagnostics or repairs on your hybrid or electric vehicle, get onto the website, put your postcode in and find a member workshop that can take care of your high voltage vehicle. I'll catch you next time.